Please don't do that. As you wish, sir. I don't do this sort of thing often. It's all right, sir. We've got lots of time. Oh, I'm not a boy, sir. I'm a girl. Oh, you're a girl? Yes. You can call me Patricia. That's my name, sir. Can I tell you a story? Patricia? Well, please do. Stories are what I love. You love stories? Love stories. Even more than mysteries. Don't do that, please. Very well, sir. I'm all ears. Once upon a time, there was a boy who never knew his father and mother. Oh, how sad. How unbearably sad. Was he an unbearably sad little boy? He, he didn't seem so. No, he laughed. He laughed a lot. Perhaps the kind of laughter that disguises tears. Well, sir. I, I knew his father. And? And so his father loved him very much. He could never tell them, the boy, how, how much. How much? <clears throat> he could never tell the boy how much he loved him. Well, this can't be a true story. It can't be. Why not? Why could he not tell the boy how much he loved him? Because he didn't know how. He had the words for many things, you see, but he, he didn't have the words for that. There are only three words for that. They're easy to say. Sometimes they are. Other times they're not. Other times they're... They're, they're impossible. And he... He loved the boy's mother too, but that was that was equally impossible. And... So he never told the boy. He never told him, and then the boy left and came to England. And uh, the father had. Lots of time to think about all the things, that, all the things that might have been, should have been. He had all the time in the world to think. And what did he think about? He thought, he imagined, perhaps, that the boy had come to England looking for his mother. And what was his mother's name? Her name was Eileen. Eileen Bergen. Oh, and so the father thought the one thing he could do was tell him where he could find his mother. Where to find the phantom lady? Huh? What? Please, go on. She married, had two children. Probably won't want to see him. But where does she live? 19 Spencer Rise in Kilburn. 